Okay, Suzuki V Strom owners. I um, the other day I wanted to check my front sprocket to see how worn the teeth were. They are pretty pretty worn, but in doing so, you have to take off this um, clutch slave cylinder. When I put it back on, I got it on a little bit wrong, and there's a push rod that goes into the engine through this hole. I'll show you in a minute, but it um, because it went on a bit skew if and I was rushing a bit, it damaged the seal and I've had to buy a new seal because it was leaking engine oil out from here and it's a bit more of a process than I thought. It's not just popping out the seal and putting a new one in, it's actually got a plate that covers it so I'll show you in a sec. Okay so this is the seal that's bust and you can see I've kind of pushed it in to try and get it out and found that it's overlapped by this plate here which goes all the way around here. You can see I've taken the front sprocket off and by the looks of it, I've got to take the um, stator cover off as well. So I'll probably have to get a new gasket for that. Um, anyway, uh, if you come up against this, this is what you're up for. You're going to look at it and wonder what's going on. Well, here you can see. I've lent the bike over on these stands so that the oil drains to this side so I can then hopefully take the stator cover out without having to drain the oil. Let's have a go. I've unscrewed all these screws. It's an 8 mil socket. Now I just have to see how easily I can tap this off. I'm not sure which side the gasket's going to stay on. The magnet of the magneto that's holding it. Ah, there we go. Beautiful. Push the gasket off. So these screws are really tight and I don't want to strip them with a regular Allen key so I'm going to use a punch to loosen them off. So, and I've cleaned them out with a bit of sort of petrol and a toothbrush to get all the uh, chain gunk out of them. And now, so now you get to see the seal that was bust. Oh, there it is, there's the damaged seal. So you see that plate overlapped the side of the seal. I'd bought it and thought, oh, shit, looks like the wrong one wrong diameter but it wasn't. Pots of grease down here just put a little bit on. Just so that I can clear all the engine with the hammer and just tap it in. I think that's flush. Check those cables are right, check the, the dowels are in place. Oh I feel the magnet go. That's okay because it's actually lined up pretty well. Of course the trick at the end of this will be to see if there's no oil leaks. I'll do it evenly all around. Sure. Oh, and I'm going to get some Loctite before I screw this on properly. I'm supposed to, use a tor supposed to use a torque wrench for this but I haven't got one. I reckon that's... That'll do. They're all slightly different lengths, so make sure the right screw goes in the right hole. The same screw goes in the same hole. So that's where I've got the clutch strapped to the handlebar, and I actually turned this to its furthest notch, uh, so that the clutch is as far in as it could possibly go. Now we've got this little cable that clips into here, and that feeds around that side, and we've got to get the uh, clutch slave unit on. Now there's a longer screw and a shorter screw and on the longer screw there's a sleeve that goes on the inside so you have to kind of push it through like that and there's also a dust cover. I've got a new dust cover. There's the actual clutch shaft. You want to clean it off and put a little grease on either end, won't hurt. Now this is where I don't want to damage my new seal, there, straight in. Okay and this is the mistake I made last time was screwing this on in a fashion that it wasn't quite square and that's how it damaged the seal. A little bit on each one, get the pressure nice and equal. Oh, 
that's it done now i've just got to get the uh, rear, wheel, rear wheel tension right and try it out and hopefully there's no leaks